welcome to niche news weekly broadcast national news former jharkhand governor draupadi murmu who hails from odisha has become the first tribal woman to be the president of india she won the presidential election against former union minister ashwin sinha the election for the new president of india was held on july 18 India's cumulative COVID-19 vaccination drive crossed the milestone of 200 crore doses on July 17. Provisional reports said that 200 crores, 15,631 doses has been administered across the country from the start of the drive on January 16, 2021. It took the country almost nine months to reach the 100 crore vaccination mark and another nine months to the 200 crore milestone. Over to regional news. Minister for General Education V. Shivan Kutti has announced that 9,000 robotic kits will be provided to 2,000 high schools in the state through the Little Kite IT Clubs set up by Kite, Kerala Infrastructure and Technology for Education. The minister was interacting with the members of Little Kite IT Clubs from all 14 districts who are taking part in two-day residential camps at Cotton Hill School in Tiruvannandapuram. The health department has decided to start help desks at all airports in the state as part of the preventive and control measures adopted against monkeypox in the state. International travellers coming to the state can approach these help desks if they have any symptoms of fever or swelling in the lymph nodes or if at all they fear that they may have had contact with a person to whom monkeypox has been confirmed. The health department will deploy trained health workers at the help desk to guide travellers. University and college teachers are likely to be bound by new contact rules proposed by the commission chaired by Prof. N. K. Jayakumar. The rules will bar university teachers from associating with any political party, communal or religious organization. The rules will permit teachers to discuss publicly any policy pursued or action taken by the university or the government but will not allow them to participate in any demonstration that is prejudicial to the interest of the integrity of India. The teachers' associations will not be allowed to seek the assistance of any political party or organization to represent the grievances of their members. They will also be barred from bypassing the universities to submit personal representations to the governor or ministers. The new sports policy 2022 of the state government invites more participation and investment from private entities. The state government will coordinate with private parties to attract investment in sports. The government will encourage SME investments for conducting sports events and maintenance of infrastructure in the state. It will also encourage startups in sports goods production, manufacture and installation of sports turfs, and construction and design of sports facilities.
five women were arrested in Kerala for allegedly forcing girl students who appeared for the medical entrance exam NEET 2022 to remove their undergarments during frisking. While three of the arrested women work for an agency hired by the NTA, two work for the private educational institution at Ayur in Kollam, where the incident happened. The state police registered a case based on the complaint of the girl who alleged that she was asked to remove her undergarment to be permitted to appear for the eligibility test. The union ministry said that a fact-finding committee was constituted by the NTA to find out the facts in detail. Over to international news. Firefighters struggled to control the wildfire sweeping across southwest Europe. Wildfires in France, Greece, Portugal and Spain have destroyed thousands of hectares of land, forced thousands of residents and holiday makers to leave the place and killed many of the emergency personnel in the previous week. Climate change is the reason for the wildfire, according to the scientists. Temperature rose up to 40 degrees Celsius in some parts of southern France, while Portugal recorded 47 degrees Celsius. Sri Lankan MPs have elected Prime Minister Renil Vikramasinghe as the country's new president despite his unpopularity with the public. He roundly defeated his main rival for the job, Julius Alaha Perima, with 134 votes to 82 in a parliamentary vote. Sri Lanka's ex-president Godabaya Rajapaksha fled the country last week. Mr. Vikramasinghe faces the task of leading the country out of its economic collapse and restoring order after months of mass protests. Sports News Double Olympic medalist P.V. Sindhu lifted the Singapore Open Super 500 trophy, defeating China's Wang Shi Yi. The final score read 21-9, 11-21 and 21-15. President Ramnath Kovin and Prime Minister Narendra Modi congratulated Sindhu on her victory. With this news, we come to the end of Nish News Weekly Broadcast. I am Mona Shah, ISL faculty at Nish, signing the news for you, along with Ms. Sylvie Maximena, Nish faculty. See you again next week. Thank you.